Okay, so today I'm going to do a review of... Ta da No, that's not right. I'm going to do a review of... Yeah, so it's... Um, it's is it a Brillo pad? Is that what they call these things? A spongy thing with a bit of roughness on the average? I mean, it's, it's excellent for the old scrubbing action. I mean, it glides across the desk, no issue at all. Top marks there. Um, if I if I dribble something on here, so I don't know if you can see that horrible stain there. Let, let, let's check its action out. Fucking excellent. I'm in love. Let's try a bit of Mr. Sheen. Look at that. Fucking amazing. Okay guys, so I thought I'd do a quick review or more of a look at my new intercom device. Uh, it's the first one I've ever owned. Um, and it is an Interphone F5MC. Ta-da! Okay, so I've owned it maybe about two months, maybe, yeah, yeah, about six weeks, something like that. And I've used it probably half a dozen times in that period. Um, I bought it with a friend, so we bought the, the twin pack, or the dual pack, whatever it's called. Um, and we actually bought it from, from Italy, because um, we went to our local, one of the, kind of the main dealers in our area, and they were selling the twin pack for, I can't remember if it was 340 or 360 which, I mean, to be honest, it, well, I didn't, before looking at any prices, it didn't seem too bad. Um, we then looked online, and some seller on Amazon was doing a twin pack for, I think we paid 197 You know, buying stuff off Amazon from somebody in a different country, it's always a bit dodgy, so it's a bit of a risk. Um, but we went for it, so we got two F5 MCs, which you can see in front of you. It's already obviously placed on my helmet. Yeah, it turned up. It took about a week, ten days. Yeah, but it's fine. Um, no issues with it. The instructions come in English. The the kind of voice command system is English because I was a bit worried it would be Italian. There is actually you can do different languages on it, so it's not a problem at all. Okay, so yeah, if you if you're looking at it, you'll probably like have read some of the stats on it. So it's got 700 hours standby time, 12 hours talk time. Um, is it's got 1.3 kilometer range. Um, it's got multi. You can add multiple riders, not just not just one to one. You can have, I think, four, if I remember rightly. Um, it's got a charging time of, I think, it lists three hours. Uh, I mean, those are the kind of the main sort of ones I was looking at. Um, I'll be honest. When, you know, like with any product, when you read the stats and the specs, it, it doesn't quite do what it says it would do. But so the standby time is is awesome. Um, I've not left it for 700 hours just on standby to test it, but I've left it for like a week without switching it off, and it's go back to it, and it's still got you know some battery left. Um, the talk time never had an issue. Been out for kind of you know three or four hour rides with my buddy, and never died on us. Um, neither one. So basically the battery is good, is all I can say. It's good to very good. Unless you're planning on touring and riding, you know, going for the full 10, 12 hour days without recharging, the battery is not going to be an issue. It's really, really good. Um, the range, so yeah, the range, 1.3 kilometers. I've got, to be honest, we've got nowhere near that. Um, however, we have done maybe half a mile sort of distance and it's still, and it's still working, which realistically is is good enough. Um, if you're riding any kind of built-up area and you go around a corner or a building gets in the way or even trees, cars, it drastically reduces it. But it's Bluetooth, it's going to do that whatever product you buy. The short story is it's it's not quite the way it advertises 1.3 unless you're in some kind of perfect test condition when they measured it perfect atmosphere. Maybe on the moon you might get 1.3 km, uh, kilometers. But yeah, in reality it's maybe half a mile when you know, we go down your local A road average traffic conditions before it starts cutting out 
which is, you know, it's fine. If, if you're riding more than half a mile out from each other, you're basically lost, um, which has happened um, on a recent ride of ours, but less about that now. Um, so yeah, battery's good, the range is okay, okay to good, battery's good to very good. Um, so I've used this, it's got lots and lots of functions, half of them I've probably not touched on, and I'm certainly no expert on using it. It takes some getting used to, so it's obviously you've got the you've got the the four outer buttons and the one center button. They're basically your controls. Um, because there's only five buttons, it's sort of like you do find yourself, to, especially to begin with, pressing the wrong button at the wrong time. You have to go back to the beginning of the menu and work yourself through. It's just something you'll get used to. Um, I'm not an expert at that yet, but I'm much better than I was when when I've got the device. As for the actual practicality of the buttons, they're, they're fine to use with gloves on. They're far enough apart that you can quite safely click on each button without pressing the wrong one. I've not had any problems with that at all. Um, the fitting. So, I've got this set up with the, obviously the full face mask. So the full face helmet uh, mic inserted. So, mine's just clipped underneath the outer shell of the helmet kind of you tie a screw up under there to clamp it on and it's it's secure there's no chance of that coming off unless I come off um, in which case I'll have greater things to worry about than than this um, you basically you're probably not going to have to see this it's a bit dark but this helmet has a couple of little cutouts to put the speakers so it makes it really easy so under behind that padding there's a little indent Put the speaker in there, it's got some st sticky back cellar tape on it. Press it down and it basically you have no problems with it moving. And this helmet's quite tight on me, no issues with the movement, anything like that. Those both have been pretty secure. The mic, I've just, again, you probably won't be able to see this, but it's just there. Again, so that's stuck down, no problems with it coming off. I have lost the, I can never remember what they're called, I want to say a boom. The phone outer section of the mic to prevent wind noise, that did come off and is lost. Um, the box did come with several, so as I said we bought the twin pack. Um, you get two of those, two of those sort of mics, two sets of speakers, you get a full open face helmet mic, you get two of those, and you get two packs of these, these foams. I've misplaced mine, um, along with everything else related to it, so I can't find my open face mic. Not that I'm ever going to use that. Um, but yeah, they do come off those, those I'm going to call them booms, the foam things. Um, so when I find my next lot, um, I'm going to reattach it and just put a tiny dab of super glue on just to keep hold, just to keep it there. If you lose them again, it's going to be just a pain ordering some more. Because they do help, so, so yeah, the guy I go out riding with, he has said that because that's gone, it has got a bit louder his end. But it's not a major problem, there's no problem understanding me unless we're sort of at or around the uh, legal speed limit. So yeah, the wind noise isn't bad, especially if you keep keep hold of the bloody phone bit. And part of the reason that come off is this helmet just fits me. So I, when I've... When I've got the foam on it, it's kind of touching my lip, ever so slightly, but when I pull it on and take it off, it, it's probably come off when I've done that. But no biggie. Okay, so, um, showed you the fitting, gone over the controls, which are easy to press. I'll actually go over the functionality of them a bit more in a second. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of try and give you an idea of what, it's, what it sounds and what it says, kind of the voice commands it use. So to switch it on, just hold down the centre button for a second. Interphone ready. Intercom. Okay, so that's the spiel it gives you when you switch the when you switch it on. Um, I haven't got another Bluetooth device to connect to. Actually, I do have a phone. So yeah, as I said, I've used this for two main reasons. Obviously, when I go riding with my mate to talk. And the other one is as an MP3 player. 
the list of functions is just huge. Half of them you'll probably find you never use. Um, I certainly don't have any other great use for it. But if I connect it to my phone, see how easy it is. So I've just switched the Bluetooth on on my phone, and I've prepaired it. So when I first got the device, we paired paired it with my phone, and it's just connecting. Okay, so it's connected to the phone. So I've got a Samsung S5. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I did have a few issues with the settings on the phone not allowing the, the, the interphone to take control, basically. So now, if you can see there, it's connected to phone and media audio. So mostly import, most important for me is the media audio. So if you want to listen to the MP3s on here, and you want to control it from this device, it has to have media, I think for both, but especially if you want to change track, change bits and bobs on here, it needs to have that, and I had a few issues with that. Um, I can't remember what the setting was called, but it was like Google services or something like that, but so now, now it's connected, anything I play, any phone call that comes through the phone will go through the headset, and any music will also play through there rather than the phone. Basically, decent for you there. Okay, so the sound quality, good, not amazing, um, but good for music. I'm talking about here, MP3s. Um, when you're speaking, I don't know if I've covered this already, but when you're speaking, it's 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 fine, it's way clear enough. You have to be going ridiculous speeds in high winds to have any issue at all. Um, I'd recommend turning off the auto volume. Just shit. Don't, I don't see the point. I guess it's to save. To save battery or something like that, but you don't need it. You're better off just using the up and down volume controls to get the right volume. But yeah, so connects to my phone easy enough. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> okay, so if we now move on to the controls, um, actually, kind of what you hear. So basically, when you go through the different um, to access the different sections of the menu, you press the up and down buttons, down, up, as you can see. So if I'm just going to hold you over here so you can see it, FM. press up, Phone. it literally just Intercom. scrolls through Setup. all of the settings. So I'm not Intercom. an expert on these again. Phone. If I go back to FM, FM. FM active. I'll activate it. 8, 9 .0. Press up or down button to scan. Press up or down button until the beep to select. Scan up. Ip. Scan up. Not smelly dip. Scan up. 93.5. No, I think that was the BBC or for who were researching, who were using the internet, they were having massive forum discussions. Okay, so that's quite good. Um, that was just showing you, all I was doing is pressing the up and down buttons. It, it honed into a radio station. Um, and then started playing it, and as I don't know if you can hear, it's still talking in the background, so I'm just going to shut that up. One downside is the length of time you have to hold the button down to switch the sod off. It's about five or six seconds, it's ridiculous. But um, yeah, so that demonstration there just shows you how much it tells you in your ear. It has two settings, um, I can't remember what they're called, it's like voice assist, and it ha you can have like higher or lower. I've still got it in the higher because I don't know what I'm doing. Once you know what you're doing, you can just turn it down. And I think it only gives you the basic information. So if you press up, it'll say FM radio. And then it won't tell you to do press up to do this, press down to do that, blah, blah, blah. But it's really good, really easy to use after a while. It's not, you can't just pick it up and use it, but it, it won't take you a long time. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, Really, really need to talk about. So yeah, the range is good, the battery is good, the sound quality is good, not amazing. I think you can get upgraded speakers. And when I get a new helmet, so this is a pretty cheap model if you know your helmets, um, it's good enough, but it's not amazing. I'm going to get a decent helmet, um, kind of probably just after Christmas, um, and I'm going to get upgraded speakers because music's a big, a big factor to me. I want it to sound as good as possible. Not that it doesn't, um, it's just not quite as loud or as clear or quite as a high quality as I'd like. I'm a bit fussy about that, but 
if you're not fussy, it's absolutely fine. You can hear the music again until you get to really high speeds, really high wings. The quality of your helmet will obviously make a big difference on how well you hear it. If you've got a good uh, wind cancellation thing going on, if it doesn't make a lot of wind noise, you'll hear the music so much better. And you'll hear other riders whilst using this really clear. Um, one thing, if you are going to buy the dual twin pack, as I did, one thing it only comes with one is one each of is a charging cable, which is plugged over there into my computer. It looks like this, which is like a mini three and a half mil um, socket or plug, which goes into the front just there, which has got my little uh, water protection device. It is waterproof. Another big feature of this: if you buy an intercom living in the UK you want waterproof and this is I think IP67 really important feature and um, it's what turned me off of I think it was one of the centers um, I forget which one I looked at so many but the kind of this is a top range interphone we looked at the top range center and it wasn't as waterproof it had some mild waterproof capabilities it's raining right now in the UK it will rain you know at least 50% of the time for the next couple of months it's very important it's waterproof big selling point but yeah, so going back to it, so you only get one of these cables, and you only get one data cable. So the data cable, if I unplug this, which I can't bother to do, the plug in there, um, which my friend has got, because the data cable also acts as a charging cable. Um, and because two of us, we bought two of these in one go, I updated this, as you do when you buy any device these days. I've kept the charging cable to charge it. My friend's got the data cable, because he had to do that, and had to do the update, and then he's got the charging cable. But just something to bear in mind, it only comes with one of each of those. I think that's the only thing you only get one of. One instruction manual, but you probably won't use that very much. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's great. I'm um, quite happy with it, especially getting it for, for 100 quid. For each device is really, really good. Um, I looked on Sports Bike Shop earlier on. To buy a single item of this on there is still 180. Um Bear in mind, it is the end of the year. I would would be quite um, surprised if they didn't bring the new model out and replace this one quite soon, which I think is part of the reason we got it so cheap. Even it, it's on offer in most places, but it's it, I mean most of them are still 150, 200. Um, some are, some are still selling at the full price, like local bike shops will. But yeah, really happy with it. Um, any questions on it? I'm more than happy to to answer if I can. Again, yeah, I'm not, I'm not brilliant with it. We, we can use it. That's all you really need to do.